Here we go, on our way to the Palm Springs Certified Farmer's Market. Bubbles inside. It's delicious. Okay, so I definitely want one of the, the Japanese ones. Cool, very cool. And one of the, for, what was the first one again? That was uh, Popato. Oh, no, how, say that again. How, what is it? It's, uh, so it's a sheep's milk. Sheep's with, milk. Um, it has a little kind of bit thing? of peppercorn strewn oh, through it. Yeah. Really, um, it's a, a light sort of um, flowery texture with uh, nice nuttiness and, mm. and that, that nice pungent sort of fattiness to, to a Wonderful. sheep. Wonderful. It's still good. Yeah. I want an Italian, okay. tiny, big one of a regular. Okay. And then, because I'm going to definitely try to do something really fun with Mark's Italian ghee. Um, you stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we are. This is Megan. Megan is the one who runs these farmer's markets, and she has done an absolutely amazing job at keeping this open for people with social distancing and all of the um, guidelines for the, for the current situation that we're in. Megan, you're awesome. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. I'm gonna make you a bubble. There you go. It's like a perfect circle. A bubble for you and a bubble okay, for you. Thinking about using like grapefruit, maybe doing some sort of a grapefruit, <laughs> fresh grapefruit chutney right, on salmon you. with some vegetables and using that Italian ghee butter. Right, yeah, hmm. yeah. Think, 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 think. This is really cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What's it called again? Dandelion. 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 Perfect. So I need, I need some nice, I want a couple of salmon Silver fillets. salmon? Yeah. Smoked what? sockeye? No, we want this fresh because I want to actually um, Spot pan sear Spot Alaskan? It. Alaskan halibut. I pulled out the halibut. We pulled them September, October. I mean, August, September. I fished these July through August. Yeah. Oh, and they're they're really good Just, cold. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So I need a bag of those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's video fool. <laughs> Hello, Patrick Bartlett here with Mood Wine, and I am sitting here with this pile of beautiful uh, fruits, vegetables, and products from the Palm Springs Farmer's Market. I'm going to be preparing another dish for you that's gonna follow my three basic rules. It's going to be easy to do in your home kitchen, it's going to let the food speak for itself, and it's gonna be beautifully plated to enjoy. Priorities, cheese and wine. Using Itty's Cheese Company's black peppercorn, goat cheese, and a nice glass of wine while I'm cooking. Okay, the salmon is gonna be very simple. A little bit of olive oil infused with blood orange, some uh, kosher salt and some cracked pepper, and I'm gonna pan sear it. This is wild caught coho salmon and it cooks very fast. Basically, it still has the skin on it, so I'm just gonna roast it and pan uh, skin down. Mm. 
let it cook for a few minutes until it's cooked through and it's done. That was fun. We have a salad of fresh dandelion greens and strawberries with the heirloom onions and a turmeric dressing. We have the plate of pan roasted coho wild caught salmon with the chutney of the grapefruit with the radishes and the heirloom onions. And then we have the roasted cauliflower, which is an heirloom cauliflower. And all of this was used with the Italian ghee from Italy's cheese. Salut. Okay, mm. let's talk about this Lorenzi Sagne wine. What are you tasting, Jake? I'm tasting cherries. I don't know, bean cherries? It's so, it's it's like a, a really dark rosé. Uh, so it's like a red wine, but it's very light. It really is a rosé and not a pure red wine. And we serve it cold. Do you know what a Sagne means? It means the juice that's pressed off the fruit. Yes, the first press. They pull fruit juice first off, press. and then they keep the rest of the fruit that's on the red grape to concentrate the flavors. And that first press of fruit that comes off is used to make a rosé. Mm. And Don's rosé from Lorenzi is interesting, this Sagne, because he basically took all of his red grapes from that vintage in 2018 and put them all in a tank and then decided to make a rosé. So it's a mixture of a whole bunch of red grapes. It's delicious. It's delicious. Still wondering about that mystery wine the chef was having when he was making the supper? Well, here it is. Old Reliable. Get it in your local grocery store. This stuff is so good for the price especially. Mmm, so reliable. Been drinking it for years and years. Cheers.